Uh, hello guys, uh, welcome to, uh, Aether Squad. Uh, today we are going to be starting a, uh, Call of War game. Call of War is a strategy World War II game, uh, that a lot of people play, and it's free. It's got an app and it's a website if you want to check it out. See what countries are left. We'll do North Africa. Okay, this is the map. <laughs> oh no. So basically, we'd have to get a lot of places to win. So, you know, I mean, it's pretty much impossible to take two continents by yourself and win the game. So... We're gonna need to join a coalition. Uh, we're gonna go to coalitions. United Africa. In Call of War, there are these things called coalitions. A coalition, in this case, is a group of five countries. When in a coalition, you can see your coalition troops and buildings. Note, when you're in a coalition, you do not combine with the other countries in the coalition. You can leave or join coalitions. But to note, if you leave your coalition, you can't join another one for three days. Now, for our next stage in this Call of War game, we need to start researching things. Uh, for one, we need to research armored cars, which will take 30 minutes, so we can get light tanks. Light tanks are very good for fast Blitzkrieg invasions. Next thing we need to do is we need to research the Interceptor. So it'll be very good for a starter plane in case somebody sends, for example, troops to our place, like uh, just one little infantry unit that we don't have anybody to take out. That's taking land. The plane will be able to take that out. Now, if there's a lot of them, well, it's not going to be easy, but for one little guy, it should be fine. Now, we also want to build tank plants near places we are currently invading or we might get invaded from. That's because tanks are relatively cheap, light tanks are, I would say, in my opinion. And they do a lot of damage. Uh, for another place, you want to build an aircraft factory. And for the last city you have, you want to build a secret lab. Then, once all that's done, you want to build industries. The reason is, not these factories, not ordnance factories, not that. Industries. Because it will increase your income of resources per turn. Or per hour. As you can see from this diagram, we are going to invade Rio de Oro from a little land peninsula they have connected to us. Uh, we are going to invade upwards towards their capital. Um, next we are going to invade Portuguese Guinawa because they are a city next to French Sudan and that will help us in the fight against French Sudan if that happens. So we do believe it will because they do border us and basically all they can really take are the guys down below Portuguese Guinawa and Portuguese Guinawa. So it will probably happen. And as history would have it when I logged back on it did happen. We were at war for Judon. Well, okay, boys. Um, I have just logged back on, and this is what I'm greeted with. <laughs> uh, it looks scary, and I did just figure out that they do have an infantry unit here. Uh, I just checked, and from what I can tell, uh, we are going to take this city because the Axis, they do more damage than the Allies, and the Allies have reduced costs, but they have lower health. So, I am 100% positive we are going to take this place. Uh, and we're going to take Case. So, this will be ours. This will be ours. Um, I'm not stupid. They still have troops there. But I am going to move here because I don't know where the troops are. <laughs> so. <coughs> oh, me. Now let's go ahead and build our infantry. And yeah. Uh, the map's basically going to be the same for a bit. Now here, this is interesting, this is interesting. 
uh, they're fighting. And the dude knows what's going to happen. Instantly, okay? We're talking instantly. As soon as he's done here, I'm going to roll in here. After he's beaten these guys, I'm going to roll in there and take it from him. Because he's going to be low health. I want to meet with some four infantry units right here to take the city. And so he's definitely building up something here. I can kind of feel it. But I would like to know before I hit it. Uh, and for another thing, I just want to touch on this. Our ally Egypt is having some diplomatic issues with Greece over Crete. Ah, uh, yeah, he somehow already has a navy. I'm not going to question it, but he does. I need to build a navy after I destroy French Sudan. Uh, but. Yeah, the invasion, things are going fine right now. Uh, I want to take this time to explain the different terrain types that are present in Call of War. So, you have the planes, right? Uh, motorized units and tanks are way faster on these terrain types, uh, and they're indicated by n just normal kind of desert colored, like, just flat areas. Um, forest and hills are uneven terrain. Uh, ordnance and ambush units do more damage to enemies in that place. Uh, and also, motorized units, such as tanks or armored cars, are way slower in that area. Uh, if it's a hill or a forest, they're basically the same thing. The mountains, they reduce the, u the uh, movement speed of all units. Also, ordnance and infantry units can do more damage to enemies there. Uh, there are urban areas as well, which infantry units do more damage. Uh, also, there is a sea, and only ships can move effectively on the sea. Uh, you can send units into the sea, and you can research to upgrade your units, but when they're in the sea, they can't really fight. So, just a heads up there. And from what I can tell, I just got on this morning. This is me recording in the morning. Sorry if you can hear like rain in the background or whatever that is, but uh, we just took back Kays and Conakry, uh, and we're about to take back Eleg. And the French Sudan is just dead at this point. We're also going to take Bomba. This has worked way too well, to be honest with you. Um, Upper Volta, who isn't even a player, got attacked. Um, but yeah, we're going to take all this land right here. We might lose here. Uh, I'm going to split one infantry unit to attack Bomka. Holy crap! Well, that is amazing. There goes up the phone. Dude, that's awesome. Hello, everybody. This is the kind of situation we're in now. Now, we're going to take this. Uh, we're going to eventually get that. But basically, as it looks, we're going to get all this. And we're going to be joining the Axis Powers. Um, it's looking good for right now. We're also going to get this piece of land. And we're going to build a force here, hopefully being able to take this. Uh, probably will be able to. And from there on, I'll let you know. Hopefully y'all y'all uh, had a good day in craft and uh thank you for watching this video. I will see you later. Goodbye.